Hello and welcome back to Advanced D&D &D Eye of the Beholder. I have not been looking forward to this, I won't lie, but um, we're going to do it. Uh, I, I like, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, don't, don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to spiders. Um, also, someone, a few people told me to try putting a dagger in that dagger mark. I thought I tried that, but I'm willing to believe I didn't. But uh, maybe we'll do this for a little bit, and I'll try that at the end of the episode, if there's a convenient place to do so. Um, let's see. Let me get re-familiar re -familiar with things. Um, our cleric is going to want to take slow po poison, I'm pretty sure. Uh, invisibility is an interesting idea. Dark Rose. Okay, so what we want to do, actually, is we want to rest and pray for spells. Grand Bold, you are going to learn some new spells, different spells. So there's Remove Paralysis, Dispel Magic, uh, Slow Poison. We're going to want uh, three of those, actually. Three of those, because I, I am very sure that everyone is going to be poisoned. And the thing is, is I'm not sure how to remedy that at all, like, completely. And, uh, outside of, like, learning remove poison which i think is a level five cleric spell or level four even i'm not sure but either way um it, it's a bummer you know the whole thing is kind of a bummer so we're gonna learn slow poison and we're gonna rest party all right all heroes are fully rested and uh, i actually feel like i should have memorized some spells as well that was dumb no we have magic missiles that's fine we that's what we, that's what we want and uh yeah here we go um just trying to think is there anything we want to cast before we open this door bless yeah let's ca let's cast bless and then let's save Game options, save. Saving is a little bit cumbersome in this game. I know someone's saying, like, oh, you got to save constantly, dude. Yeah, you're right. Um, by the way, there's a black bar on the right side of the um, capture, the screen today. Uh, that is uh, what you'll where you'll see enemy health bars and such. What the heck? What? Really? Behind me? How How behind me? It opened a second door. Oh my God, dude. That is not okay. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Are we, are we poisoned yet? Is anyone poisoned? Espresso, are you poisoned? Poisoned. God damn it. Are, ah, what? Oh, is that the poison? It feels the effects of poison and now they're already hurt. Okay. Go ahead and cast um, Slow Poison on Espresso. And go ahead and cast Cure Light Wounds on Espresso. He's okay. That's very good. What do you mean can't reach? Okay. Oh, God. I, 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 spiders in games at all times. Like, it, it's never a good thing, you know? I think we, we might have extra healing, extra... Okay, we have we have uh, some potions. I don't think we have any potions of cure poison. So we're going to have to move now. There's a pressure plate here. I'm not sure what that did. There's a key here. Wait a minute. Did that close the door behind me? It did close the door behind me. Yay. Okay, that webbing, I'm hoping, is going to provide us with some safety. I know that's super naive, but we have a pressure plate, which, um, you know, never, never a good thing when you step on a pressure plate and you don't know what it did, because undoubtedly it's going to, it did something you don't want. Okay, the webbing is here. I'm gonna kinda leave that webbing for now. 
Wow, there's a lot of webbing. Okay. Um, kind of good for us in some ways. I have to assume that the spiders can go through the webbing, but uh, I'm, I, you know, maybe that's a dumb assumption. Oh. Are they dead? They're not dead. Okay, now they're dead. No one got poisoned. Yay. Uh, get that book open. Bless is now done. Do we have another bless? I don't think we do. Okay. Keeps uh, It keeps thinking I'm trying to punch with my wizard. Yeah, that was good. Good, good job, Espresso. One hit kill. There's another spider. The spells seem to like, oh God. First of all, spiders are fast. Please die. Oh, thank God. I was uh, really worried that it, they were gonna um, do some lasting damage there. The spiders are fast and they're faster. Like the, the, the casting a spell in this game is quite slow. Like it actually slows the whole game down a little bit. Okay, no spiders there. Um, this looks like it'll be a secret later, but I really just kind of want to clear the dungeon out of spiders. I know that's naive maybe. Okay, I hear something really close. Let's get that book open. Why do you keep trying to punch things, my dude? Okay, we want an acid arrow for sure. Okay, um, well, this is good because the thing I'm hearing is actually over here. I... Oh, God. I can't tell if I killed it or not. It's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I think I did kill it. I'm hearing lots of spiders right now, and it's very disconcerting. We've got tons of arrows. I might want to switch to a bow pretty soon, but I'm not sure if our thief can use a bow. Uh, can't put that in your ring. I don't know what this ring is. So we'll keep it on our thief for now. Um, the slow poison at least does seem to legitimately slow the poison quite well. It's, um, it's actually kind of a breath of fresh air in, in some ways, because I've seen spells like this in other games, a lot of other games. It's like slow poison. It's like it, it slows it down by like a second. Okay. All right. We've got more stuff to do here. Um, we could, uh, use our invisibility spell. Might as well use up our spells. Cast... Invisibility cast on which character? I guess Dark Roast. It's interesting. Yeah, except as soon as I use her to open up the webbing, then, uh, you know, she doesn't, she's not invisible. Complete waste of that spell. Oh, well. At least we use Espresso spells for once. I tend to not use, you know, get to use up all their spells. Um, we have Prayer. Let's go ahead and use Prayer. It doesn't have a very long, um, like it, it, it's, it, that doesn't last very long, but that's okay. Just trying my best to go get through this dungeon. Oh, I put the spear in the wrong hand. Okay, Dark Roast is poisoned. Okay, let's immediately get that slow poison on her. And do we have another cure light wounds? We do. That'll help. Um, let's get those daggers back in our thief. Got to be kind of fast about this because I'm not sure what else is coming. Yeah, there's at least one more spider here. I hate when I misclick in this game. It's like the worst feeling. There's like 
so much to accidentally click when you want to attack you, you know you when you when, when you want uh, you know it's it, it just it just kind of sucks okay we have a broken webbing over here let's just check over here i like dead ends because it means i know i'm not going to get attacked from behind oh god <sighs> all right well i guess i'm eating my words somewhat because i was trying to go down the not dead end there if you it, just in case you weren't following along I was trying to go down the not dead end because I wanted to back up away from the spider just to prepare a little bit, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out that way. Oh, is that a is that a spider? No. What? Oh, that's the that's the poison. Um. Do we have a potion? Of, we have a potion of healing. Let's go ahead and use that. We have more potions. Not sure if um, how I'm not sure how long uh, slow poison works for. We're really against the clock right now. Uh, is that slow poison not working on her right now? Oh, she yeah wasn't working on her. Weird. Hold on, I'm gonna use another potion on her. May as well. I, I oh wait a minute. That was a potion of cure poison. Ah, uh, well, I mean, that's it's good that you know we we managed to. I, I guess it, you know it's good that we had one of those, but uh, there wasn't really a better way of using that. There wasn't a more optimal thing we could do with it than literally curing the poison. But at the same time, it makes me feel a little bit bad. Uh, I just realized we're not using our curved like banana sword, banana dagger. I like the banana dagger. So let's go ahead and use that. So, um, I mean, we are progressing pretty well in here. You can see in the mini map, uh, bottom right corner, things are going pretty well. There's an, no, there's another spider over here, of course. Dark Roast is poisoned again. Missing is like a hundred percent not what you want to be doing when you're face to face with a spider Wow, uh, Thagor took eight damage Also, Thagor is like the best um suited for the role down here. Can you die? Is that another spider? Oh, I see I thought they were backing up and then coming back forward, but no that was just more spiders So we just we just fought three spiders um, Dark Roast is gonna die very soon unless I help her somehow. We need a potion. What is this? Speed, uh, potion. This is just a nameless potion. Okay. Uh, healing. Let's give her a potion of healing. We don't want her to die. She can't take potions of healing when she's already on. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's falling apart. Okay. Hold on. Poison parties will die. Rest anyway. Well, that's it. I don't know when I last saved, but long ago, I hate this floor. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, we got a load. That's a long time ago. Should have I, I know I realized I should have been saving every single time I killed literally anything, but man, I hate the poison. I hate the poison a lot. Um, I think I, there's that other door that opened up, but I think I just skipped that part where I took extra damage that I didn't need to. Yeah, I hate that poison a lot. <sighs> um, I kind of, let me, let me test something. I, I want to see if I can... Can I reset or refresh the map on Explore? Current map level might be worth doing. Um, yeah, let's unexplore current level map. Yes. 
Reason being is it's, it's showing me everything I've already explored, and that's actually super not helpful. I want I need to know what I where I've been like now, not where I was previously. Um, we are blessed still. Oh, was that a spider I saw? It's, I, I swear to God, I'm seeing spiders everywhere right now. Okay, well, we're getting kind of lucky. Is one way of saying that. Okay, that was good. We managed to kill a spider without um, taking any damage. Oh, God. I just realized it's raining outside. Like, in real life. I had, I had stuff to do today. Okay, well, we're in a good spot. Why don't we go ahead and save? Basically, I, like, it sucks... Um, saving if someone's poisoned, but if someone, if no one's poisoned and we manage to kill something, that's good. That's really good. Um, this is an interesting room. You'd think that there'd be more, more going on in here. Okay, we've got a door here that we can't seem to open. I just realized there's a uh, hole in the ceiling in this room. I wonder if this is one of the places where... Um, I wonder if this is actually the, where I fell before. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is why I wanted to... basically reset the map. So here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this pressure plate opens up one of the other doors. You might see in the bottom right corners, there's three doors and they all have a pressure plate in front of them. And I'm guessing one of these pressure plates opens one of the other doors. Um, just a guess, but I think it's a pretty good guess. Almost, I'm, I'm kind of thinking... Um, wonder if we can have someone in the, like, far back. Like, can you have, like, just one person in... No, okay. Hold on. This is uh, some dangerous work. Thagor is poisoned. God, there's so many spiders. Okay, um... Yeah, just sometimes my mind gets flooded a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to... See. Yeah, oh, I was really hoping I could get that in before... Before they got poison... Uh, they took their first hit of poison damage. Um, Thagor getting poisoned kind of sucks. Thagor has a higher constitution. Um, so I, I imagine that means that they might get... Po they might take the poison damage a lot, you know, slower. We're going to go ahead and save right now because we just killed three spiders. I was gonna. Uh, what I was gonna suggest before is that if I can move Dark Roast even further back and only have Thagor in the front, it might actually be worth it. But um, because Thagor has a higher constitution and therefore he can um, resist the poison a little bit more easily. Uh, a little bit concerned that there's something behind me. No, we're good. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Wow, they're fast. They just give you basically no time to react. Oh god, I was worried about that. <sighs> Come on. Yo, this interface 
sucks sometimes a little bit. So we're yeah, we're uh we're double poisoned now. Please die. Okay, that's a problem. Cure light wounds on dark roast and go ahead and use well uh, slow poison doesn't work forever. Um, so the problem here now is that we have two people with cure with, uh, with, who are poisoned. We've got tons of potions. Um, we can take one of those. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and drink that. I listen. I know this interface is, is ancient. I understand that. Um, so it's, and it's, it's actually better than it has any right to be, but it is really, really like for a, a semi real time game, really difficult to keep your eye on like 30 balls at once. And, uh, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, so forgive me. Um, but what I'm worried about now, I'm just going to make sure that we're actually kind of clear for now. Yeah, we are clear. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rest. What do you mean 10? Yo, I hate this floor. This is like some of the worst garbage ever. I, the reason I was I was going to rest is to try and get Grand Bold their spells back. They officially don't have any more slow poison. I thought I saved. God damn, I am really struggling with this game. I am struggling far more than I, I honestly thought I was going to. Man. <laughs> Level of the third floor. It's spider and poison city. And no way, no permanent way to get rid of the poison. And it's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. And we're, we're taking, uh, espresso is down because we're taking damage and, and they're poisoned. Okay. That's a load. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, I, I know the game is hard, but like, really with some of this poison stuff. All right. Well that, that worked out well. I almost feel like saving right this instant just to, just to, you know, yeah, just every time we kill a spider without someone getting poisoned, save. That's that's where we're at at this point. God, I I can I can't believe. Um, there's, there's just like a few things that are really mounting to a hilt right now. Uh, namely, like not ha having to auto no you know like manually pick up all your stuff is just such a bummer someone's gonna get on my case i know someone's gonna get on my case about well you know like you're you're so used to the conveniences of modern games yes sometimes it's you know modernization is good <laughs> sometimes modernization is good friend like i just uh i just having to pick up your daggers every single time you throw them and put them in your hand slots is it's just uh you know not I, I i don't miss something like that i can't imagine missing something like that okay let's save we're actually doing okay for now thagor is poisoned but thagor is the one person who i'm okay with being poisoned um all right Cool. We're good on both sides here. We got some rocks. We could, um, we could give Thagor the, uh, the slow, the, the, the cure poison, but I actually think that would be a bad idea. Giant strength potion. We should have Thagor hold like all of the potions. Um, what is this? This is healing. I know I have one cure poison. That's extra healing. Healing. So do these potions, these are only healing. Do they, uh, do they cure poison? 
speed. I'm just putting all the potions on uh, Thagor. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get everyone to eat some food. Honestly, I, I do find it kind of weird that there is a like a feeding uh, f like, you know, food mechanic in this game. It's it's a little odd. Okay, scroll of fireball. I don't think I taught that to espresso, but I don't think they can use it yet, so it doesn't matter. Um Yeah, I can't rest until I basically deal with this poison business. That was good. Wow, that was actually really good. Managed to kill both those spiders without um, anyone dying. I don't know what this ring is. I really wish I, did, I knew what it was. Um, we're going to go ahead and save. Yes. Game saved. Cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I keep uh, interrupting my own line of thought here. But uh, Thagor Z, the one person I'm, I'm cool with, with uh, being poisoned because he can resist the poison for quite a long time. I'm not sure how um, in it interacts with a slow poison, truth be told. Damn. Oh. I think maybe... Um, it seems that when they take damage, the, 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 um, the spell is lost. Or maybe when they get re-poisoned, I don't know. It's it's a really um, difficult thing to, to measure. Okay, we've got ourselves a key. What I might want to do is actually go back. I, I, I it could be that the the room where I that I have to unlock is actually what I need. Um, if that makes sense to cure the poison. Don't worry, some of these are are actually shortcuts. I shouldn't be seeing any spiders around here. Uh, where... So where's the door? I think it's actually near the beginning. Okay, there's a spider here. We can kill... We can kill the spider. Okay, that's... That was good. I, I think part of my problem with the thief is that because her... She auto-reloads um daggers into her hand it, it's actually kind of a problem because it means that like i i want to i want her best weaponry to always be thrown first right so if she could automatically pick up the daggers oh i didn't realize there was a spider over here uh yeah this is a problem this is a problem i i'm very much struggling with this interface right now there we go and um that could mean we have to load because now i i don't think i have any more slow poisons oh, okay we we have one more but um the issue here is i'm trying to find the door that uh, was locked and i'm actually struggling to do so um I actually don't know where we came in. If I'm being honest, I guess it was uh, near the big near over here near that pressure plate. It must have been this one here. Ah, there it is. For some, I, I guess I didn't like look at this one tile, and so I didn't know. Okay, so we're gonna do a save. Um. So not a good idea. I'm out of poison, slow poisons, but uh, I, I I really don't know what to do. This place is brutal.
Okay, well, this is a door I can open. I don't necessarily want to open doors right now. This is another door I can open. I'm looking for protection from evil spell. Spell is expired. That's fine. Lots of doors we can open here. Swear to God, I see something over there. There's a chain there. I'm pro I, I, th I think I could probably pull that. God, we're getting labyrinthine with this again, aren't we? Okay, we've got holes. What does this say? Access control lever. Okay, well, there's a lever we can pull. I'm just really, like, really worried right now about um, spiders creeping up behind me. I can hear them everywhere. So I'm filling in the map. Now, what is this room? This room sucks. Oh my god. Kruin, the fearless one. Oh, goody. Kruin, the holder of wisdom. Kruin, king under the mountain. Kruin, destroyer of the ancient one. Um, yeah, I don't care for any of this. Thagor is still poisoned. I think we should use a healing potion on him. Whoops. Um, well, it didn't cure his poison, but that's fine. They're at least feeling a little bit better. And it really sucks right now because, like, um, you ca I, I can't recover our spells. So I, I can't even get more slow poisons. Oh, God. Okay, so those are illusionary walls. Okay, so we've got, like, kind of a loop here. And a staircase up. That's interesting. Where does this pop up? Oh, interesting. This pops up on the other side of the dungeon. I, I kind of wouldn't mind going up. Um, I don't know how much time I have. 30 minutes. Where is the staircase that goes up? Uh, it's pretty far from here. That's eh, not too bad, actually, because there's a, there's a teleport. So why don't we go check that out real quick? I know uh, it means we're going to have to deal with this trickery here, but that's okay. There might be a, a lizard somewhere around here, but that's okay. I can deal with a lizard. I'd much rather deal with a lizard at this point than uh, more spiders. Okay, so you might be wondering, like, why, why am I doing this right now? Uh, I just want to absolutely make sure that I tried everything on that stupid wall. And I know it's, it's like, not, not even a secret that's probably worthwhile, right? I'm probably not going to get anything for it. And if I do get anything for it, um, it's probably going to be something that's already been made redundant or, like, irrelevant. Like a piece of armor that is, like, no longer worthwhile. Okay, so there's a there's a thing on the wall. So uh, dagger. Oh, the dagger fits. Why didn't I try that? Yo. Why didn't I try that though? Bizarre. Um, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that did. I might have to do it to all of them. I, I have um, two of them on, on, my, on my map marked out, but not all of them. And it, it kind of sucks losing a dagger. I'm just going to say that <laughs> real quick. 
but uh let's let's go and do that to another one okay so um there is one more I, I do remember there was one more but i don't know i don't remember where it was um i wonder i could do like a reveal map real quick i hope that you don't mind me doing that because the thing is okay well that doesn't actually tell me where the where the dagger mark is there uh i'm pretty actually you know what i think i do remember where it was door opened without closing a closing button um it was in a spot where you had to throw a dagger through a grate if that makes sense like there was a um I'm hearing sounds. Oh, I got turned around because, uh, so I, I, I made a, a comment about this a couple episodes ago. It's like, I, I wish the dungeon didn't turn you around. That's actually by design. That's a trap. And I was so like, I don't know, unamused by it or like not, not impressed by it. Or maybe I just didn't realize that it was a trap and I just like, Oh, I wish the game didn't turn me around like that. It's like, well, that was, that is actually the point. Like it was, it was by design. Um, I think I'm hearing a monster hanging out somewhere. Isn't it here? Yeah, it is here. Cool. Um, dagger. Uh, I mean, that doesn't necessarily change anything. Because the thing is, is, like, yeah, okay, cool. So I put all the daggers in in a, in a spot. The only thing is I could... Um, well, I, I, I know there's something over, over on the top left corner, right? So that's the one thing is we could go check that out. Oh man, there's still monsters down here. I I kind of welcome skeletons at this point. I'm still hearing so like there's still creepy crawlies in uh, on this floor, which is just wild to me. Okay, well let's um we'll worry about that if we if we find them. I hear them. They're real close, actually. I think I saw them. Oh, that's a zombie. The turn on dead is actually kind of annoying because it just like means I have to chase them down. I've probably said that a few times now, huh? Okay. Um... Still hearing at least one skeleton. No one is able to open that door. Right, because there's a thing here. Uh, did I do all this? Okay, well, there's... It changes the map somewhat. I think I just, like, wasted three daggers. Because, like, I... Unless, unless there's a fourth dagger somewhere, I could probably look at the clue book at this point. But, like, I'm not really getting the impression that it's done anything meaningful to the dungeon. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of a kind of a waste of time. Let's kill a zombie.
I do wonder if, um, you know, I never did really figure out what was the point of changing the, the this labyrinth. It could be that um, I, I should like make a note of what parts of the of the dungeon are different. And um, and then I have to like go and, and find a dead end. And then there's another like there's another dagger spot in that spot. Okay, so taking damage doesn't reset that spell, thankfully. Okay, um, going down. Not sure what we're doing. What are we doing? Hey, you know what, actually? Why don't we go back down the spider... To spider town. Um the original way we went that's not a bad idea like we'll go down um there's only one way down right i'm hearing lizards and i don't really want to have to deal with them right now i think i went down here oh god Oh, cool. Dark Roast is poison, so that means a load. God, I, I, I'm sorry, but the spider place is actually kind of ruining this game for me. It is actually kind of ruining the game for me. I, I hate it so much. I, I hate having to deal with a poison that I, I can't actually do anything about. It's just like, and, and it's, it's relentless. Like, there's just so many spiders. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to find a spider in my original entrance. You know, hence why I didn't save first. So now I, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just screwed. I could um I could give her some potions and hope that one of them cures cures the po poison. Giant strength, extra healing potion. We could try this one. I I wish uh okay. Feels no longer hungry. Okay, cool. That's not what we want. Extra healing. Let's try an extra healing. Maybe that's it. I keep like Accidentally attacking. Feels much better. She is still poisoned, though. We're just going to blow through my, my potions. All of them, I guess. I know that one of them cured her poison. I know that, right? I wonder if Lay on Hands would actually cure the poison. It probably doesn't, right? That's that's really dumb, right? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't cure the poison at all. Um, we have, we still have a potion of healing. I'm just like wasting my poison potions, hoping that one of them will heal her. Speed, extra healing. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if I do load and I guess I am going to load now because there's not, I don't, I didn't make any progress. All I did was waste a bunch of daggers. Uh, there was a lot of this business, I suppose. Um, what, what did we, uh, what I, I was going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to give uh, the bow to, to Cappuccino. I think I'd like to be done with daggers because they are kind of costing me, um, like a lot of time. That works, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's better for, like, in, um... In Legend of Grimrock, they like bows and daggers were very different. They they covered very different niches, so I'm a little bit worried that uh, they they might not like fully transfer over. Her dexterity is actually not that great. She actually has very good strength. Like, wow. Her constitution sucks though, so th that kind of sucks because it means that. Um... <laughs> 
She's got great strength. This is a terrible character. Very, very non min maxed, you know? <laughs> Throw the key at the lock. Um, but basically, like, she doesn't actually have very good stats for, for a bow. She doesn't have <clears throat> good dexterity. Instead, she's got great strength. But she doesn't have the constitution to back it up with. So unless I was to, you know, throw uh, just a, a ridiculous amount of armor at her, I don't actually think that we'd be able to do anything with, you know, with that. Certainly we won't, wouldn't be able to uh, turn her into a front line. I just can't stand how many spiders I'm hearing right now. Like, it just, it's never going to end. So, I don't know, we can, we can plug exactly one of these holes. Kind of tempted to just jump in a hole. I know that's absurd. You know what? Let's do it. Um... Because then we would be done with this floor completely. And I just don't ever want to deal with the spiders ever again. Hole. Oh, cool. Spiders forever, actually. Yo, is this a... Is this a just a death pit? No, there's a switch on the wall. It's a very subtle switch. But there is a switch on the wall. Wow, that Cure Light Wounds does like nothing, huh? Or maybe, is it like a... I wonder if it's a like a dice roll. I know Cure Light Wounds is a dice roll in, in real life. I will say, I, I even in Grimrock, I hated spiders. I'm not going to save yet, just because... Oh, we have dwarves? Uh, hello? Are these friendly? Wow. Can't go that way. We have a we have a dwarf, so it might be that we aren't they aren't aggressive to us and they don't they don't, they're not attacking us, so that's kind of nice. So this is a uh, like the dwarven my oh a wary dwarven cleric eyes you and says, I would offer my help to anyone who is injured, but my people require immediate attention, of course. If you are helping if you are helping us in our efforts to find the prince. Well, that was abrupt. Okay. Well, you know, it cool dude but like I, I i would really appreciate it if you would have at least healed our poison we got some food we always have food kind of pro we've got a fireball i, I should re i can't learn that because like one of our dudes is poisoned so it just presents us with a real problem We've got, like, levers and stuff here. We've still got spiders. What is this? Potion of poison taken. We can put that in that little alcove. I'm sure we're going to want to put something in that alcove. Not sure what. We're getting kind of close to spiders. Spider town. Yeah, it seems like um, we. this is kind of a puzzle room. 
um, and we're going to want to put something in that alcove, possibly to open a door. One thing, uh, I don't know if this is a common thing in um, this game, but I know in in Grimrock, something they loved to do is put you in a room and then there's like the one switch or the puzzle you are trying to solve and then as soon as you solve it, several doors open, you know, several people are typing and the the room just floods with monsters. Kind of hope they don't do that, but I'm sure it's going to happen at least once. We can force this door open. That's a switch right there. It's funny, you know, the, the, the map tells me there's a switch there, but that switch is so hidden. What is this? Okay, that's, we don't know what that means. Like if you, I don't honestly know if you, if you were like trying to press every single little thing, like this could easily be a switch. Like how would you find that organically? I'm not sure what that looks like. Okay. Ah. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, dark roast is poisoned. Very nice. Very nice. Um. The, yeah. That's again. That that's gonna mean probably a load. Because I, I can't really do anything about it. We have a staircase up. I have no idea where this would lead. We have a keyhole here. Um, okay, interesting. Oh, po potion. Healing. I, I keep press, pressing the wrong button when I want to try and like actually use a, a, po uh, a potion. A potion? Let's pray. Pray for us. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't actually have any potions of, of cure poison. They don't exist, actually. I don't, I think I made them up in my mind as something I would like to see. I, I, I really hate accidentally right-clicking their name because then it asks me wh where I want to swap them and I don't actually want to swap them anywhere. I'm pretty sure that um, Th uh, Thagor is, like, re-poisoned now. Yep. I can't imagine anyone getting to this point in the game and being like, yes, more of this, please. This is just a lot of spiders, a lot of poison, a lot of not curing poison. What is this? Scroll of Dispel Magic. That is not a cure poison spell. That is not that at all. All right, Dark Roast is dying. Do we have, no, we don't have any cure. We can't, uh, we can't help her because you can't uh, have her drink potions when she's dying. Lots of uh, contextual uh, mechanics for why you can't save your party members. Not a lot of contextual uh, mechanics for actually saving your party members. I'm just going to keep going until I go like, um, honestly, at this point, I, I just like to go as far as I can go 
and if I if I see anything that looks like hope then at least when I you know load my game there's a reason to c continue on but uh if I was playing on the, if I was playing this on my own and not for for YouTube I'd probably give up at this point hilarious to me that it's not a, a puzzle that's blocking me it's actually like a combat mechanic what do we got here scroll cleric of whole person that's not it actually that is not it okay um you know what as long as we're going as far as we can why don't we actually try and help thagor before he dies Just chug all these potions. Just chug them. Still lots more um, spiders hanging out. I don't know. Like, I, I mentioned this a few episodes back, but I'm not sure if... Um... Oh, that was a illusionary wall? Oh, right. That's where... That's how I got there. Uh, I'm really not sure if monsters respawn. It's it's a uh, not a mechanic I'm ever a huge fan of. It they they respawned in um, Legend of Grimrock. I wasn't a huge fan of it in there in that game too, but at least there was kind of an excuse for that because they um, it was meant to kind of help the player in some form. Like you could m ensure that there was always food on the map. Agor is dying of poison. And I'm trying to, like, solve this room. I'm not sure if I even have the ability to. Like, I might need an item. Ah, I am... Armin, spokes per, spokesman of this clan. Of course, we have information on the location of the exits from these halls, but in order, in our hour of need, I have no time to help you. However, if you would be willing to help us, here proposal. Armin begins, our clan is descended from the dwarves who built these great halls. Here, our ancestors lived in peace until hordes of evil creatures drove them out and into the realms of men and elves. On the surface, our numbers dwindled. Finally, our leader, King Tirgah, gathered our people and led us underground in search of our ancestral home. Using secret knowledge passed down through the royal family, we finally discovered these stone-carved halls. The halls were vast, and we only explored a small portion before we had to, ma had to make camp in an enclosed area decorated with stone a stone portal. But while the camp slept, the stone portal flared with magical light. From the light, a horde of drow charged us. They were led by a female they called Shindia. We rose up and fought the Dark Ones, though we were exhausted by long weeks of travel. Both sides suffered many casualties, but in the end, we forced them to retreat into the portal from which they came. The battle was costly. King Terago, uh, Terago was... Wounded by a poisoned dagger, and now lies in eternal sleep. Nothing our cleric can do will t will wake him. His only son, Prince Kirgar, was. Wait, t are they are they like Tirgar and Kirgar? Was captured by the invading drow. With no members of the royal family among us, we no longer have access to their secret knowledge of the exits from these halls. Now we wait while our cleric heals our surviving warriors. Once prepared, we will try to rescue our prince and avenge the fall of Tirgah. Our numbers are small, but we would rather fight to our deaths than abandon our prince to the drow. Unless if your party were to rescue Prince Kirgar from the drow and return him to us, he could give you information about the exits from these halls. You would have your information and we would have our prince. So will you help us? Sure. He hands you a medallion made of stone. Take this. Dropped it in the battle. It is the key to activate the portal through which she and her minions came. Our ancestors built the portals to transport them from one location to another quickly. 
When the portal doorway is touched with the right object, the portal is activated. We would have followed Shindia and her drow elves back through the portal. Wow, you got a lot to talk about, huh, bud? But we are not ready to confront them. The Ancient Ones also used powerful magic such as this to gain knowledge. Legend has it that there is an oracle of knowledge and the key to its operation is the powerful black orb. By placing an orb into the oracle, it powered its, its power is released. Our cleric can, oh my god. Can help heal your wounds. Be careful not to tax him too heavily. He has been healing the wounds of our warriors and trying to revive the king from his poison sleep. The one other thing, a young dwarven warrior would like to join you in your quest. Do you find the prince? Will you allow him to join? Sure. Nice. Great. Love that for me. Still, Dark Roast is dead. Yeah, they gave us a bunch of food. May as well have the dead person carry it. I like that they, 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 they give us a lot of food, don't they? And it's like none of it is helpful. Okay, now let me see if maybe this guy can re heal party. Resurrect dead. Okay. Heal party is nice. An exhausted dwarven cleric rubs his eyes and tells you to come back after he has rested. Okay, well, so that changes things a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth, like, continuing from here. The thing is, is that he could resurrect someone else. I, this is the reason I, ke I kept these bones. Is he can actually resurrect the bones. Halfling bones. And uh, human bones. You can resurrect those. Um, and we already have a dwarf. Although having two dwarves in the front wouldn't be a bad idea. So. Um, despite the fact that I would lose a ton of progress right now. I'm wondering if I shouldn't load. I don't know why he approached us now. I guess it's because I only just now found the staircase. I did this in a very bass backwards way, but I think it actually worked out in some ways. And it does actually give me hope. Um, if I, if I fall down that hole, this is what we're going to do. We're going to load. I'm really tempted not to load and then just come back and resurrect Dark Roast maybe when the cleric is healed or uh, rested. I don't know how long that's going to be. That's the only reason I'm, I, I want to load is because I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait to do what I just did, you know? Now we have a few spiders we have to kill. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this going. Um, let's cure Thagor. Twice, I guess. Actually, let's keep that in reserve and use some potions. Oh, god damn it. All right, load. Man, you, you really don't realize how used to modern inf interfaces you are until you use something that's a little bit dated. And I'm, I'm sorry if it's coming across as complaining, but my god, it's just like everything I click on is incorrect. Everything. <laughs> Everything I click on is wrong and is like uh, like further digging the hole and it just kind of sucks um, Extra healing healing. All right All right now I'm gonna save we're gonna save and I am gonna keep this going and we're gonna try and get to This that the the state I was just in We're going to go to the Dorvan peeps. Uh, and I think what I need to do is approach it from the opposite angle. All right, so we have our Dorvan peeps here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. Now, I know there's... 
at least one baddie in this zone. But I think what I'd like to do is we're going to go through this door. We're just going to ignore the spiders for now. And then we're going to go back. No? Yes! Nice! Okay, I was correct. So, um, by doing this, this means that we get to heal now. And... Yeah, we'll take we'll take the Dwarven Warrior. We get to heal now and um, get rid of the poison because it did get rid of the poison. I don't know if you like. I don't know if you know why I'm doing all this is is so that I don't have to deal with this stupid poison anymore. Like we're gonna have to deal with it again, but at least for now we have a method of taking care of it. Thagor is healed. Espresso is not. I don't know what the deal is. The guy just didn't heal Espresso. That's fine. The important part is now I can actually rest without having to worry about dying. Can you imagine what a wonderful feeling that is? And the series does go on. I did a lot of complaining this, um, this episode. Uh, I, I, I understand that. It's probably not very fun, especially if you're a fan of this game. Um, please have patience with me. Um, it's like I, I am, I'm used to, you know, modern comforts. And some of these old, some of these old games are, are not comfortable anymore. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it just means I have to adjust. Um, all right, so... I just want to think of, for a moment what we need to do is um, we need to memorize. First of all, we want to memorize spells. No, we don't. Hold on. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. <laughs> See, this is what I mean when I say that every button I press just digs me into a hole. I want to scribe scrolls, fireball. Um, we can't use it, but at least now we have it zero of zero remaining and um i don't think that invisibility is actually worth it we're gonna go ahead and take two acid arrow um pray for spells can dark rose no she still can't learn any spells pray for spells um grand bold go ahead and learn you know what i think that you just need three cure light wounds or four cure light wounds apparently you have more now um, three slow poison is good. We have one level three spell, and I think prayer is a good one to have. Exit, rest party, done. That will ha that will do it for this episode. Um, if you are enjoying this series, then definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.